Okay, you've got this curve here, and it's asking for us to sketch this here, which is a transformation of this curve. Okay, it's got a minimum point here, 3 minus 6, and it crosses the x-axis at these two values. Okay, and once we've done this transformation, we need to indicate then where the stationary point is. Okay, so stationary point is just the minimum, isn't it, in this case, the minimum point, and the coordinates of the points of intersection to graph the x-axis. We need to know what these are once we transform it. Now, when you transform a graph, right, you need to do it in steps, right? Don't do it all in one go. The first thing I would do is work out this here f of x plus 4. So do inside the bracket first. Always, okay, when you're transforming, sort out the inside stuff in the bracket. So it's going to be a number of graphs here to get this right, okay? And that's what you need to do in the exam. You need to do set out this in steps. So you might have two or three graphs drawn until you get your final answer. So f of x plus 4. Now remember, inside the bracket affects the x values, so horizontally. And if it's plus 4, don't forget as well, inside the bracket, you're always going to do the opposite when it comes to transforming. So inside the bracket then is a plus 4, so the opposite will be take away 4. In other words, it'll shift along the x-axis this way, okay? Okay? It'll shift in the negative direction, okay, opposite of this, um, along the x-axis. Now, in that case, if you look up here, if that goes back 4, that's going to end up at 3, isn't it? This is going to end up at minus 5, okay, if it goes back 4. So we need to have our axes, and we need to have some um, more, more sort of negative x region on our x axes. And as I said, that will go back to, if it goes back 4, that will go back to 3. So that becomes 3, 0. The minus 1, 0 will end up at minus 5. 0. And then don't forget the minimum as well. This is going to alter as well, right? Now, because we because this is shift along the x-axis, it's the 3 that will change when it's going to go back 4, so that'll be end up at minus 1, okay? Minus 1, which will be about here. Um, so minus 1, um, and of course minus 6, right? The, the y values are unaffected. When it's, when it's inside that bracket, the y values are unaffected. So you draw your curve, Okay, um, better off to turn it round actually. To turn it round, it'll be easier for me to draw. Okay. So that's my f of x plus 4. Now notice what I need. I need minus 2 thirds f of x plus 4. Alright, now um, when you have values in front of the f, okay, we multiply in f by by this value okay um now you can do it all in one go or we'll do it in stages i think we'll do it in steps here we'll do it in stages we'll first of all focus on the two thirds and we'll worry about the minus later on because you're multiplying f by this you're actually going to affect the y values okay so you're going to times it by two thirds the y values so if you think about it now um we have our axes again I'm going to draw two thirds f of x plus four okay so we're going to use this now and we're going to multiply right f by two thirds we're going to multiply the y values by two thirds and what's great is if you multiply the y values there if you multiply that by two thirds it doesn't change isn't it because zero times two thirds is still zero so that's going to be in place nothing alters Okay, minus 5, 0. And the same is true here, 3, 0. Okay, the y value is unaltered. But of course here, the minimum, if you times that by 2 thirds, that's going to be affected. Times that by 2 thirds, you get minus 4. Okay, so you end up there. Okay, so that stays minus 1. The x value is unaffected. But times that, so minus 6 by 2 thirds, you get minus 4. So then you can draw your curve, okay. Right, better if I turned it upside down, it would have looked a bit better. But there you draw your curve, and you've got now two thirds f of x plus four. All right, and then finally, okay, we need the minus in front of it. Now, when you do the minus in front of it, you, 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 you're minusing the curve. So basically, all the positive values of the curve become negative, and all the negative values of the curve become positive. Okay, 
So you're affecting the, the y values again, right? But you're just changing the sign. Ultimately, it's a reflection, okay? It's a reflection, that's what that is. So we'll have um, minus 2 thirds f of x plus 4. That will give us a reflection in the x-axis. So all they're going to do is draw that curve, but this time we're flipping it. And what's easy is that stays the same here. Okay, so the this stays the same because if you if you do negative of zero, it stays as negative. This stays the same as minus five. But this, when you do the negative of this, that becomes positive. So you end up having it up here. Still minus one, the x value, but the y value becomes four. So you draw your curve. Okay. Not a brilliant curve, but it does, you know, that's okay. It's going through the important points. And you've got yourself your final transformation.